Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mr. Voss, and today is Tuesday, February 2nd, 2021. Here are the instructions for today's reading module. It can be found under my reading course page in Canvas. We are going to continue today to work on Lesson 6 of Lucy Calkins' Reader's Workshop, and that is titled Learning to Think Analytically. So yesterday, hopefully, you got the idea and the information to understand what analytically means. Today, I need for you to have a library book of your choice. It could be fictional or non-fictional. Then you are going to apply some of the same skills that you did yesterday with Home of the Brave to your library book that you have today. Now hopefully you have read this library book and you already have some prior background knowledge of the book that you are currently reading. Or if you just finished up a book, you could use this for today's lesson. So first, with the first handout, you're going to use the same two handouts for your library book. So first, I need you to answer some questions about your own library book that you are reading from the first handout. Then the second handout is going to ask some questions about specifics of your library book. That would be parts of the book that you're reading, why did you select the book, ranking the book, and comparing and contrasting parts and ideas from your book. So please complete this there with the instructions that I have left in this module. Now after you get this done, here's the second part of this. I need you to come up with a plan, an analytically plan for your library book, okay? And I want you to come up with this plan, and I want you to write down the most important, the most important parts of this book that you're reading. I need you to tell me why you selected this book. I need you to rank the parts that you thought were the most important, you need to rank those. And then why did you choose this book? So again, you're coming up with a plan. Um, you need to find some important parts or important ideas from your book. I need you to write those down. You need to tell me why you selected this book. And you need to um, compare and contrast some of these parts, like what are some similarities in the book, what are some differences in the book, but I need you to revise or come up with your own plan for this activity after you work on the two handouts. If you have questions about this, feel free to email me. I will try to get back with you as soon as I can. Um, it may not be till later in the day or even after school. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Then, after Reader's Workshop of the first part of this, I need you to work on Word Wisdom Vocabulary. Mr. Kirkhoff's class is working on Unit 6, Lesson 3. You will have two workbook pages today. The, the pretest is still here, so you may still review and study for that. And then, for Mrs. Holcomb and Mr. Voss's classes, you are working with Unit 1, Lesson 2. You do have two workbook pages also. You also have the pretest to review in Canvas. After Word Wisdom Vocabulary lesson, I need you to then work on the Daily Moby Max lesson for 30 minutes. You may either work on any of the three reading portions or the vocabulary part. It is entirely up to you. Finally, continue to work and record minutes for this week's new reading log. Please make sure that you answer and you choose and answer a question that's three or more sentences. I need these sentences to be complete, not short, choppy. And eventually when you do turn it in, you will need a parent's signature. So please make sure you are reading and you are doing what I am asking you to do. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me through Canvas or my general emails are voss at yorktown.k12.in.us. Take your time and have a great day.